So we've imported our model, but the textures don't work correctly with our lights. So if we notice here, uh, when we move the light, it affects the cube, but the character has no, no change. And that's because the character right now, Blender imported this model with emissions for the texture. So emissions emit light. And so when we're shining light on light, it won't have much of an effect. So if we go into the shading tab, we can select the character. And we notice uh, there are going to be several textures here, or just a list of textures. The texture we're interested in uh, well, depending on what you want, uh, the one that I'm choosing to work on is the uh, the skin, and the we'll notice that here. Make sure you have a nose activated if it isn't. Um, the material output is the final output from all these interconnected building blocks for our texture, and that's what nodes are. However, we notice that here we have emission shaders. And because of that, um, we can't really play with light. So one thing that we can do is create a new node. So just use Shift A and then search. And then what we're going to be using is a principled BSDF. And let's place this node wherever we place it. Notice that there's some highlighting right around the material output. That means that once we place this node, it will be in the inserted right there. So we inserted it. And now we have this purple magenta color. That means that we have missing textures. But basically, what we want to do is just connect this. So want to connect this base color into the base color of our new BSDF. And we notice that the color of the character changed. But why is it not being affected? Well, the reason is we're not in render mode. So if we go back in layout, you notice that there is now an effect on the body. And we have the added benefit of actually being able to manipulate some of the values. We don't necessarily need this color node, in fact. We can actually just remove it and then have color ourselves here. But since we already got the color from the model that we uh, created in Vroid, we probably want that base color. But we also have subsurface and various other features. So we can add subsurface, we can give the character a little bit of color, and we can repeat this process for the face. So. So once we find the face, it's just scroll or you can just search it. And we notice that it has a similar issue. So we'll repeat it. And you can also alternatively select the both, uh, both of these um, textures at the same time and then do it all at once. So here have the same issue. Now color to color. And now we can make character's face a little bit more rosy or something like that. And if we go into layout mode, now we have light. And we notice that now we have the subsurface, so there's some subsurface scattering underneath. And yeah. I hope that was helpful. This is a hack, but hopefully you'll find it useful to make your textures. You can also make it work for the hair or any other uh, part of the mesh. Good luck, have fun, and let me know if you find a better technique in the comments, and have a nice day. See ya.